Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross video on determining the value in a ratio when another ratio and an amount is given. Let's read the question. In a bag, the ratio of the number of red marbles to the number of purple marbles is 1 to 3, and the ratio of the number of purple marbles to orange marbles is 5 to 3. There are 36 orange marbles in the bag. Work out the number of red marbles in the bag. Now we've got two different ratios here, which both involve purple marbles. So we might think the strategy here is to first combine these into a single ratio, because that single ratio will be easier to deal with to work out the answer to the rest of the question. So let's do what we would usually do to combine these ratios into one. The ratio of red to purple, red to purple is one to three. And the ratio of purple to orange, so purple to orange is five to three and we want to combine those into a single ratio. Remember, these parts have to be the same in order to combine into one. So three and five, what do they both go into? They both go into 15. Now to get that three to 15, we have to times it by five. And if we're times that by five, we times the one by five, because whatever you times one part of the ratio by, you have to times the other side of the ratio by. Now to get the five to 15, we times it by three. So we have to times that three by three, and that enables to combine these. So one times five is five, three times five is 15, five times three is 15, so it's consistent, and three times three is nine, and that is the combined ratio. So the ratio of red to purple to orange is five to 15 to nine. Now we're told there are 36 orange marbles in the bag. Now, the orange part of the ratio is this nine here. So we know that the nine parts in the ratio, nine parts in this ratio here, represents 36 marbles. And we want to work out the number of red marbles in the bag. How many parts are red? Well, red, it's five parts in this ratio. So remember, we always go via one part. So we're going to work out one part and therefore five parts because that will be the number of red marbles, the five parts red here. So one part, to get from nine to one, we're dividing by nine. So we're dividing that by nine. 36 divided by nine is four. And then to get from one part to five parts, that's five times bigger. Remember, we either divide or times as we go from one line to the other. So this we have to times by five, do the same thing. Four times five is 20. So therefore, that is the answer. There are 20 red marbles.